Hello everyone in peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Now we know that Islam is a very, you know, amazing religion and uh, the Quran is the most amazing book. Actually, it's very amazing. I mean, I cannot even stop thinking about it. Uh, you know, like when I was a kid and uh, I think I'm still I am, you know, uh, compared to the Quran. I mean, the Quran doesn't, doesn't matter how old you grow. Still, you are a kid in the front of it. And today, I'm going to show you a kid like me. Actually, he speaks like my voice sometimes, you know. <clears throat> His name is Zachary Naik. And he is going to introduce to you the Quran, you know. And always, Zachary Naik is the best to pronounce the word Quran and to introduce the Quran. Especially when he say, Brother and sister, today we are going to show you a different American of the Quran. With the intent that cover in the year 2020. The second you hear this, I mean, you will be feel like you've been, uh, I don't know, like electric shot or something. It's beyond explanation. So uh, Zakir Naik, who is a Muslim, claim he claimed to be a Muslim scholar. Uh, he copy paste the rest of Muslims they say, and the first one who come with those uh, things is a guy already. He is in jail in Turkey uh, for a child molestation. The Big Bang. <clears throat> you see, we'll try to make a series of uh, of videos uh, about the same videos. This is like a forty-eight minute video, and uh, Zach and I speak about things in the Quran, and he mentioned here the Big Bang. You know, the Big Bang is something exists in the Quran. I mean, it's big and full of bang. To be honest with you. But the bang bang I know in the Quran is different from the bang of the Big Bang. So what the Quran says about the Big Bang? <clears throat> Remember, we have uh, uh, we gave the video a credit in our info. So if you like to watch the Big Bang, you know this is in the minute ten uh, from the video of Zakir Naik. The rest, the, the the beginning of the ten minute is just introducing Zakir Naik as if he just came from the sky. It's like he's coming from a spaceship. A guy, he go and he say, today I'm going to introduce to you a brother, his name is Zachary Naik. No, the guy is speaking like Zachary Naik too, but anyway. Uh, so the Big Bang, the Big Bang is in the Quran. Is that true? And they said that initially our universe, it was a primary nebula. Then there was a Big Bang. There was a secondary separation, which gave rise to galaxies, the stars, mm -hmm. the planets, <clears throat> exactly. the sun, uh -huh. the moon, uh -huh. and the earth on which we live. Okay. This they call as the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. The glorious Quran mentions this in a nutshell, 1400 years ago, 1400 in Surah years ago. Ambiya, mm -hmm. chapter number 21, verse number 30, the ayah I started my talk with. Okay, that's, that's it. I mean, that's it. I'm going to jump from the top of the mountain now. Remember, he just said, that the stars, the moon, the, the moon, the earth, all happen after the Big Bang. I mean, you Muslim, do you read your book? Do you read, this book is making fun of the Quran. This guy is making fun of the Quran. I am really surprised that not even a single Muslim got so upset from Zakir Naik making fun of Muhammad. Because the second you say that this verse is about the Big Bang, that's mean the rest of the Quran is a lie. If we go and read the Quran, <clears throat> hmm? the Quran has many verses speaking about how Allah created the earth and the heaven. Many verses. So if we type here the word khalaqa, khalaqa which means he created. The first thing we will see is a chapter 2 verse number 29 it says hmm. you see the big bang is gone big bang bye bye big bang it is he who has created for you all things that on earth and then he went to the heaven and he made them seven skies the translation here is a full of lies they say moreover in arabic it says thumma thumma first the word thumma mean happen after and there is a long period of time. If you change the translation, 
This is Yusuf Ali. It is say Hilali and Khan. Or is the same garbage translation, you know? Okay, then read carefully with me. It is he. It is he you are looking for. Yeah, this is a different song, sorry. Uh, he is, he it is who created for you that all in earth, and then he went, he rose over to the sky and toward the heaven, and he made them seven heavens. This is what the Big Bang saying. This verse saying that everything in the earth created first, and then Allah, he went after that to the heaven, and he made them seven heaven. So, where is the Big Bang? We did not even start yet. So, obviously, the Muslims, when they speak about something, they are not trustworthy when they speak about the religion. Actually, ask yourself, which one is more valid for you as a Muhammadan? The statement of Prophet Muhammad, Allah pray on him, not for him, or Zakir Naik, peace be upon him. For sure you will say Zakir Naik because Zakir Naik, he make the Quran fit with science. Muhammad don't. Muhammad, he said in this hadith as an example, Allah that exalted the glorious created the clay on Saturday and he created the mountains in Sunday. And he created the trees on Monday. And he created things entirely in labor on Tuesday. And he created light in Wednesday. And the, by the way, uh, what his name? Uh, did that he was debating a Christian he says in your Bible in your Bible it says that God he created the Sun in Wednesday so the earth was without Sun for four days how that can it be accepted in my Bible it says that God he created light first before the Sun he said that be light and light was so we have light you idiot but in your book there was no light until Wednesday so the Muslims, they make fun of the Bible. They do not know that Muhammad, he is a copy-paste corrupt man. He tried to copy from the Old Testament, claiming that this is his own God teaching. But look what he did here. He said it clearly that the first thing to be created, it was the dust. The clay in Sunday, Saturday. And then the mountains in Sunday. And then the trees in Monday. And then he created all things entirely labor in Tuesday, like, you know, grass, uh, uh, animals, blah, 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 blah. And then he created uh, uh, the, uh, the light in Wednesday, and then he caused the animals to spread. And the last thing he created was Adam at a Friday afternoon. Where is the Big Bang? Where is the Big Bang? Right away we discovered that somebody is lying. And there is no way that Muhammad is the one fabricating Big Bang now. It is Zakir Naik and Muslim like him who try to make Islam a scientific religion. And if you are a fool, you believe them and you listen to them. But who is going to believe in them and listen to them after this? When they ask Zakir Naik about the Bible says, that the earth is created in six days. He said the Quran says six days, but in the Quran it means period. It means what? Period. But, but do you see your prophet saying Saturday, Sunday, Monday? <laughs> they do anything they can in order to manipulate the book and to change the meaning and to fabricate a new religion just to make it fit with science. Let me tell you something. A true believer, he will not be ashamed of his belief. Doesn't matter if it's agree with the Quran, with, with the science or not. As an example, science does not agree that a woman she can give a child, give birth to a child, and she is a virgin. That is not what science says. Am I going to change my book? This is my belief. A true believer, he will not change his belief to fit with what is called science. But those Muslims are not a true believers. They are doing business. And the business today is to make you believe in something which is not true. And the proof in front of you. And then if you go and read the interpretation for the verse he quote for us, 
it doesn't say at all that the Muslims for the last 1400 years, they understand the verse differently, which is scientifically a mistake. Look what it says, that the heaven and the earth, and this is Tafsir al-Jalalain, don't the disbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were close together and we parted them and we made seven heavens and seven earths? This is a totally stupid statement. So from a stupid book to a scientific book by the help of the liars. So what the Quran teach in that verse, though, which Zakarnaik is quoting, that the earth and the heaven, they used to be closed together and Allah separate them. So what the Muslims believe, the Quran teach, that the earth and the heaven, they were in touch, and then Allah, he did separate them. But is, this tr is that true? In case you do not know, we are swimming inside the heaven, which is the, the space. We are not separated, really. You might say the atmosphere, still that what does not make us separated. We are inside the space. Actually, according to Islam, the cloud is the space. The cloud is the heaven. It's not just, you know, I mean the earth. Just the second you fly, you are in heaven. So they do everything they can, everything in their power, in order to make a person, especially if you are naive, you do not know much, to make you believe that the Quran is a book of science. And not only the Quran says stupid things like here, the verse he is quoting for us, that Allah, he separated the earth from the heaven, which is a stupid to say, in different verse in the Quran, it says, we lift up the sky. We lift up the sky, we lift it where? Where was the sky and where you lift it up? <laughs> Look what the Quran says. Chapter 21, verse number 32, and chapter 52, verse number 5. Let us go to the first one. And we have made this, the sky a canopy or a roof, well guarded. The Muslim here, they say, oh, this is about the atmosphere. Actually, Zachariah, he said that too. But just to show you how they lie in those things. The Sama, the word Sama, as we said, it is anything above from the ground in the air and up. And the Quran make it clear that Allah He created the lamps in the lowest heaven, the lowest sky. <clears throat> And about the protected sky, the Quran claim that Allah He created in the lowest heaven in that sky stars, and He made those stars missiles to shoot the devil in his bum if he tried to get it close to Allah sky, which means the seventh sky. So look what happened. They lie about this one too, and they say this is about the atmosphere. But based on this chapter, this is chapter 21, verse number 32. But if you go to chapter 67, verse number 5, it makes it so clear that Allah, he put in that specific heaven, the lowest one, lamps, which means the stars. And those lamps are created not only for decoration, but to shoot as missiles to shoot the evil one if they try to get out. And I wonder why Allah is not shooting the Russian, the Chinese. I mean, now everybody is going to the sky. And Allah is not shooting anyone. So when the Quran says we made it a protected roof, he's speaking about he protect the sky from the devil. But what the devil want to do? An additional science in the Quran. According to the Quran, the devil he tried to spy at Allah. And when he tried, Allah shoot him. So look what is fiction and stupid the Muslim, they make it about atmosphere. They make it about seven, uh, uh, you know, uh, layers of the of the sky. They make it about a big bang. But as you see, all of this is a fiction and stupid story. But when they try to gain hearing, 
Huh? Allah, he shoot a flame at them. And we guarded them, what? The sky, we guarded the sky from every devil. Islam is a religion of conspiracy. Not only the CIA wanna spy at Allah, the devil wanna spy at Allah too. And this is make me feel sorry for Allah. I mean, the Muslim, they say, Allah, if you want something, he say, be is going to be. Can't Allah say, is devil, cannot you go to heaven? He can, right? Actually, he did. The Quran says, in different verse, that Allah, he ordered shaitan to get out of he from heaven. Okay. And this is in chapter 2, verse number 2, uh, two uh, chapter 2, verse 36, chapter 2, verse number 38, uh, you know, uh, chapter 7, verse number 13, chapter 7, verse 24, I mean, a chapter uh, 20, verse 123. All of this, it says already, Allah, he said to Shaitan, be, get out, get down, actually, not get out, because Muslims believe that heaven was in sky, not like in the Bible. So, Allah, he told the shaitan and Adam and Eve, get down, get down, all right? So if Allah ordered shaitan already to get down and get out of heaven, how shaitan he can go to heaven again and spy? As you see, every single statement in this book is a joke. And the best joke is, is to become you yourself, to become the joke. Because the second you believe in their garbage, which is, you know, I did not even give you like a, a deep study yet. I'm, I'm just going around, showing you from verses here and there. And as you see, the Quran is a stupid book. It's a book of fiction. Shaitan want to spy at God. Shaitan want to hear the news. And Allah, he guarded the sky. But the Muslim, they make God in the sky about the atmosphere. But the Quran say no. This is not about atmosphere, you idiot. It's about the devil. He tried to spy at me. He want to hear my conversation. He's a hacker. And how Allah and what Allah do to stop the hacking of shaitan? He shoot him in his ass. May Allah ask you. So from shooting ass, God, to atmosphere big bang you know from a religion belief shaitan he sleep on your nose to uh, galaxies and you know the uh, the empty space like what oh. so do you see how they try always to make you look like an idiot it's a clear sign of a fraud, of corruption in this religion. If those are the scholars, they are lying about their religion. What about the followers then? And why in the world anyone who believe in God, he wanna lie to make me believe in his God? Because Islam is a satanic, demonic, evil cult. Otherwise, nobody promote his religion by lying unless he is following the father of all lies. And what Jesus says about who is the father of all lies? He is the devil. So, as you see, all what they are saying is absolutely a lie. Actually, if we go in different verse in the Quran, we did not to check all of them. We are just showing you little because I'm trying to make supposedly uh, the video not too much long. But sometime what you can do. If you go here as an example, you will see uh, in Zach and Nick, in the same video, he says how we can make science fit with those people who believe that the earth is a flat. Actually, the Quran says the earth is a flat. So, if you read the Quran carefully, you will see it says clearly that the earth is a flat. And if you read carefully with me here, you will see how stupid the one who wrote the Quran has an example in front of you. Uh, Zakir Naik, he just mentioned the Big Bang, but look what it says. Which one Allah is which one is more difficult to create? The heaven above, which Allah has constructed, and then he left it up. <laughs> and then he made the day and the night. And after that he made the earth flat. 
<laughs> and the funny here they say moreover I like this moreover when in Arabic it says and after that that's why you cannot trust Islamic translation if you change the translator from Yusuf Ali to other translation you will see how the word moreover became and after that and there's a huge difference between moreover and after that and after that he spread the earth and after that he brought the water and after that he put the mountains but in the other chapter it's the opposite it was Allah he made the clay the dust first and then he put the mountains and then he did the, the trees and then he created the animals and then he and then after that he created the light so which one of them is saying the truth none of them if you go to chapter 41 and you read from verse number nine it says it clearly in this verse that Allah finished the earth first he created the earth in two days where is the big man two days the earth in two days and then he placed in in the in the earth mountains according to the Quran the mountains are something he placed in the top of it which is funny and then he put all the measure of the earth in four days and then after that he went to the sky and after that he made seven heaven and after that he made lamps what is this where is the big bang and not to forget to mention that this is totally the opposite of a chapter 79 so my friends when somebody come to you with something called science when it's come to Islam Islam is the most stupid cult ever religion who believe shaitan play with your anus you can go right now and search for the video where the sheikh explained how the prophet said that if you go inside the bathroom and you don't say certain prayer with the left foot shaitan will play with your anus and he will go inside you and he will block your butt from doing poo poo Islam is religion believe shaitan he sleep in your nose he piss in your ears he jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you Islam is religion believe that the black dog is the devil Islam believe that shaitan he around himself around your penis if you have sex with your wife without praying Islam is a superstition religion as you see so how this religion suddenly became religion of science it's a miraculous way and you know we lie as much we want and then because we are Muslims and we follow the prophet of lies so we support the lies and then if you are a fool who do not know what they are talking about you believe what they are saying and you accept what they are saying and you convert to Islam but how many people will leave Islam after they notice that this is a lie anybody in the chat I don't see the admin doing any good job I see people saying the word piss upon you I see the people saying, etc. Admin, you should block anyone he says such a statement, otherwise, we will stop the chat. Anyone we use a bad language, we will block you. We are here for education, not to fight with people. If you are here to call names, then leave. So admins, if they are not going to do their job, I will take all the admin down and I will do it. So as you see here, either we believe in what their Quran is saying as it is, or we believe in their lies and what they say. They have interpretation for the Quran for centuries. And suddenly the Muslim, they want to overwrite the interpretation. Well, even the Quran here is so clear. I mean, how you can overwrite this? The last thing Allah created is the stars. Is that what the Big Bang is saying? And if you read the same verse he quote for us about the earth and the heaven, they used to be together and we split them. Is that the Big Bang, you idiot? It says here that they used to be together. And it says here, let me show you how, how a human being sometimes is very silly. Guys, do you see the word don't? The unbeliever see. Guys, does it say don't the unbeliever see? Does it say don't the unbeliever see? It is something we can see. Is the Big Bang something we can see? Are we listening? 
I want people to learn how to read. Not, I, I'm sure many of you are way better than me in English, right? But for me, I don't read the Quran in English anyway. Arabic is my first language. But don't you see what it says? Look, look, it says, don't the unbelievers see. So if the Big Bang is something we can see. So he's talking obviously about something we see every day. What is that? Oh, the earth and the sky, they used to be close together and we separated them. The, the sky is high, don't you see it? This is, this is not the Big Bang. And when you say that they used to be together, that means the Big Bang happened after they are exist. That's what it says. We separated them. I mean, how stupid we are, don't we see? Why human being is so shallow, so, so dumb, so stupid? It's in the front of you. The answer of their lies is in the front of you. The heaven and the earth, they used to be together. And then we separated them. So there was heaven, there was earth, and we see it. So the Quran is against their lies. Tons of verses are against their lies. Their prophet himself is against their lies. And yet nobody will make a video to expose lies of Zakir Naik from the Muslims. Why? Because you can lie in Islam as long as you are supporting Islam. The second you say the truth, like Yasser Qadi, who said there's holes in the narrative, suddenly Yasser Qadi became the idiot of the village. Yasser Qadi was a sheikh for them. Oh, sheikh. Today, sheikh, we introduced to you, sheikh, actually. Zaka, this is what Mimi uh, Hajubi, he said. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Yasser Qadi, he did not need my introduction. He's very well known. He's like a star. He's like, you know, yeah, he's Michael Jackson. The guy, after five minutes, became the enemy of Allah. Just because, they, he said, there's holes in the narrative. And as we see, not only there's holes in the narrative, there is a hole in dignity of Islam. The dignity of those who preach Islam. There's a hole everywhere. I mean, the hole is getting bigger and bigger. While their prophet, he says, Allah created the clay in Saturday, they say Big Bang. Their prophet, he says, Allah created the mountains in Sunday, they say Big Bang. Their prophet, he say, he created the tree in Monday, they say Big Bang. How big is your bang, Muslims? That is a question you need to answer. Thank you for listening. Uh, and by the way, a Muslim, he was saying, Christian Prince, you don't have too many views. My friend, it's okay. No, no problem. Uh, you know, I have to agree with you. Christian, don't support me. It's okay. It's okay. But my friend, for me, it's enough. I made tens of thousands of Muslims leave this now. And my videos is all over. And if you want to watch actually my videos, you don't see them in my channel. Look, my channel empty. You want to see them? Go see them in the other channel, and then you will see the view. For me, I'm honored to see the numbers who will join me in heaven from those who they used to be Muslims, and they believe in the Messiah. I cannot even count their names. That is a priceless. And let us see how many people after they see this video, short video, not long, how many people they can say Christian Prince is lying. Everything I show you, it's in the screen. Everything I spoke to you, it's from your prophet mouth. Everything I explained to you is from your scholars. So what you will say? Christian Prince is lying. The prophet is lying. Tafsir al-Jalalain is lying. The Quran is lying. You can, all, you can say whatever you want. But people, they have eyes and they can see. The Muslim, they want me to show my face because they don't want you to see the evidence. The reference is harming. His face is better. Trust me, my face is not better. You will get scared. So my friend, if you are a Muslim and you are listening, don't fool yourself. I'm going to stop this video, but I'm going to come back. How many of you want me to come back? after maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes give me one let us see we will make a vote if the majority says come back we come back if the majority says don't we don't and then we will answer comments how many of you want me to come back after 20 minutes
all right all right the majority is saying come back and as you know we Arab we don't believe in democracy so I'm not going to come back it was a trick Islamic trick hello we made you convert to Islam say Shahada and now you cannot leave <laughs> All right, guys. All right, just give me 20 minutes and we will come back to answer comments of the Mohammedan because the comments of Muhammad is the most hilarious comment. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you and we'll see you soon again in a few minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Thank you and God bless you. Take care.